Prepare to die. Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Devil May Cry 5 here on Nightwing right, 1. Move out. That's right. Move out. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Do it. Ex uh, Nico, especially. <sighs> so much for teamwork. I know, right? <laughs> you have one job, Nico. One job. Oh, that looks fun. Wait, but doesn't Nico have Wirebound. But Nico has more than one job. She makes stuff, and she also drives the van. She okay. does drive the van. Okay, so you stand on that platform when there's no enemies around. Okay, well, there's no enemies around. Any yeah. enemies over here? But isn't her main job just to be there when uh, Nero needs her with the van? That's her one main job. Her main job is driving the van. All right, lock onto a grim grip point. Wait, uh, I can grapple on some? Wait. There it is, okay. Oh, so you have to stand there if you're gonna grapple? Nice, okay. All right. Oh, that doesn't look very inviting. Wing, Wing. deception! Pyro bat! They're fire bats? Huh. <laughs> the bats are literally fire. So uh... These bats are run fire. Yeah. Yeah. So instead of the uh, vampire bats, they're fire bats. They're lit bats. <laughs> These bats oh, are lit. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, bats. Wow, those bats are like the size of you. They're pretty gigantic. Yep. And I haven't decided yet, guys and gals, if uh, there's actually a way to change the music in this game. I'm not really feeling the. <laughs> But Shadow likes that music. I know, if she's headbanging. <laughs> but you can actually put different Devil May Cry music in this game. Oh! Because it's celebrating the entire, like, oh franchise. Oh my gosh, so that would be so there awesome. There is an option to buy the other, like, uh, music. Ooh, I would be so down with that to buy the, like, um, more... Well, it would just work, like, when you're in combat, instead of, like, the death metal, you would have like kind of the Devil May Cry Baroque uh, feel to it. Yeah, or like, I feel like, okay, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like it was, a, yes. I feel like it had some glam metal in there, no? The closer one first. Maybe no. not, okay. You gotta start somewhere. Perhaps I was wrong. No, it was like modern Castlevania music. Ah, okay, there we go, sorry. Which, I, I wasn't a fan of some of the later Devil May Cry music where it, uh, became a little weird. I love the ending music of Devil May Cry 3. I thought that That's was great. That's what I think it was that got me into it. I was like, oh my gosh. It was some kind of, like, ending screen, and I was just like, whoa. All the ending themes of Devil May Cry, with exception of DMC, are really good. Okay. And I do have the soundtrack of uh, Devil May Cry 1, 2, and 3. I never got 4. I, I didn't dislike the music of 4. I feel like... If we incorporate one series at a time into the Nightwings or One channel, maybe we can eventually get people to see that we're going to play more than Batman over here, maybe. Well, I mean, I want to do more. You know that this year is the 10th anniversary of uh, Arkham Knight, right? Or not Arkham Knight. Sorry. Sorry. Arkham yeah. Asylum. Oh, Arkham Asylum. Yep. 2009 yeah, I mean, to 2019. No, I think that Batman is like a really important, like like uh staple of the channel but i mean when you're making a plate of food and you have a staple then you have other things too like i don't eat staples i, I don't get this a staple like staples like rice or rice and beans or bread i don't know cooking terms and then if you have other things on the side it'd be like your brussels sprouts is on the side come get some plate. oh man never mind i'm saying there are sides and there are main courses okay like Okay, fine. I've taken a lot of cooking classes recently, so this is the only way I can explain it. Oh, that boy. That is your beef, and then Speaking you have other beef, things on we, the side. We got a B rank, so that's good. B, B rank for beef. <laughs> it's what's for dinner. Yeah, okay. It is. Actually, beef has a, a ton of protein in it and vitamins. Oh, and just so you guys and gals know, this is blind. Uh, I did do a live stream for the first hour of the game, but... Um, what I like to do with Devil May Cry games is explore to find red orbs and other things, so 
my series, we're going to be pacing ourselves. We're uploading an episode every day until we're done with this game. And then as soon as we're done, probably going to do Devil May Cry 3. Like, I'm really enjoying uh, my time with Devil May Cry 5. And as long as this game has a good ending and I'm still hyped for it, I will do Devil May Cry 3 and then Devil May Cry 2, uh, 1. At least. At least those two games. Ooh. I know there's a lot of hate for Devil May Cry 2. I don't like some of Devil May Cry, but I loved other parts of it. I was one of the few critics that gave the game a mm, decent score back when I worked for publications. So, so one in three is possibility that we'll end up doing? Yeah. Although I wasn't very good at the combat of three. Three changed the combat quite a bit. Uh, mm. So you could do more with Dante's guns or Dante's swords. You had more options, I would say. Whereas options. the other games, you could interchange stuff like using firearms with swords or uh, different gauntlets and other abilities. But the customization options for three were just insane. So much to the point that I wasn't very good at um, being creative. We'll say that. Well, I'm curious what people... I'll ask you later what people didn't like about 2, I guess. Story. Uh, graphics. Oh, so this Clyfod... The usual. Screw it. We're taking this f*** down. Okay, so we grabbed uh, this stuff. And we got a couple more of those red... Whatever those are. Red orbs. Ooh. Maybe they're flowers? Grim Grip. No, they're not flowers. <laughs> Daisies? Wait, so I can shoot those things? Where? Where's the Grim Grip? Evil flowers? No, they're not evil flowers. They're a staple of uh, the Devil May Cry games, oh. but not food staple! <laughs> See, I knew! <laughs> Do you know what a staple is? I know what a staple is in terms of gaming stuff, but not when food. I'm starting to think like, you know... You're starting to think you were eating staples. Literal staples, yeah. That would, and yeah, I knew... I think you. I think I imagined what you were imagining. And a, a friend told me to be wary of your cooking back in the day. So, what? Who told you that? When you put me in the emergency room for. Uh, I never what? put you in the emerg. What? That I, was. That was another. That factor. that was that was a coincidence. That was not that I, I got an ulcer. Okay. That was not related. The, the, you you had you had the ulcer the same day of my cooking, but it was for a different reason. Mm, we'll go with that. I don't know, Amber. Gold orb, which helps you revive after you die. I wonder what she's up to. What is your girlfriend up to these days, Nero? We hardly see her. What was his girlfriend? Curie. Oh. Think of it like uh, cure egg, so, but not. Curie. That's like a Latin term. Yeah. Well, they come from a a special town that worshipped uh, Dante's dad, and then they became uh, like more cult like. Because remember, Sparta okay. saved the world, so uh, there are some factions of people that in the world are aware of, in this world, uh, what Sparta did for mankind, and some so of them they, worship him as a, you know. Like a deity? Yep. Although Nero was not one of those big uh, dudes. He was more like a knight, kind of. Well, I mean, actually, there are a lot of accounts of people like worshiping or trying to worship angels or artifacts of there angels. Are people and that stuff. worship like body parts of saints, which is yeah, exactly. Know. People worship all kinds of things. Okay, so this is a little bit different, uh, getting the red orbs than what we've seen before. I'm just chipping away at this thing, and eventually, like a glass pinata or something, or not. Okay, that tree's totally toast. Wither, please! It's gross! It's not withering! I'm disturbed! Would you like me to plant that tree in your backyard? Uh, I think that would deter people from visiting me. <laughs> especially at Halloween. <laughs> you know, a Devil May Cry cosplay is actually really easy to do. Well, I mean, you just need an awesome trench coat. A red trench coat, yep. Oh, yeah, that's right. You'd have to be... Uh, you wouldn't really do Nero, because he doesn't really have a... He... You he had, to get a no, Nero sword. had a cool look in Devil May Cry 4. Okay. Like, you have to remember, by Devil May Cry 5, he's much older now. Like, oh, okay. Dante is in his, gotta be, like, we'll say mid-40s, maybe? Because he was a teenager in the, uh... Cool. 
It, it would be like me. I was in my early 20s back when Devil May Cry came out. Yeah. Now I'm 36. So yeah. Dante, whether you like it or not, is older. So when we met uh, Nero, Nero was like a teenager. So that's got to put him about, we'll say 25 when players first met Dante. So he, he's a little bit older. Well, I mean, I dressed as uh, Trinity, uh, but I had a cool like... Uh... Well, I really didn't look like Trinity, though, because I had long blonde hair, so it really didn't work. For those of you that don't know, the Matrix was a thing. It was a very popular thing. Yeah, and um, I yeah, I was a super fan of Trinity, and um, I don't know. I had like a trench coat from a secondhand store that was Whoa. pretty cheap, and you really didn't need much after that. You just wear all black under it, and then there you are, Trinity. Did you have sunglasses to go with it? Uh, I'm not sure. So maybe I didn't really look like Trinity. Yeah, actually. that's probably why you didn't pull off the... You that's just went for the goth look, but you forgot the sunglasses. Yeah, I didn't really have the complete. Back when I was... Back in when I was a kid, you didn't really... Well, you did. Demon you, tree, you, blood clots. You went and you bought, like... Great. Now the roots are in my way. Yes. Well, let's get the roots out of our way. It was then. like... It was the, for me, the cool thing to do was to make your own costume. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, people still make their own costumes, but they just, just like doing YouTube videos have changed over the years. Cosplay has become like its own thing. Like most people that do cosplay, you know that it's just not the person who dresses up. There's a whole team of people now that do it. Oh you got a person gosh. who designs a costume and who repairs it if something happens at a convention. Why? Why wouldn't you just sew your own costume? And then they have their own PR groups to get them to certain well, conventions. Why would you need... I mean, I can understand if you were wearing a Transformers outfit or something with a lot of moving parts on it. If you're just wearing a cloth outfit, you could just buy, bring a needle and thread. If you need to repair it, just get in regular clothes and stitch it up. Mm -hmm. I, I repair... I've repaired my own clothes, like, all the time. Somewhere. It's not right. that hard. So, I think these are the tree roots that V was telling us about. The ones that, like, suck the blood of humans. Oh. And, uh, are basically causing humanity to turn to ash. Well, I mean, if you're, like, our, our friend Eric, who does, like, cosplay, and he does, like, Star Wars cosplay, it's like, I can understand if you need to repair a team for that, because you got helmets and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what did jet you say pack. About? Jet yeah. pack has to be in working order. Yeah, definitely. Rocketeer jet pack. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, because he's got to fly to the top of the roof to make a grand entrance into the cosplay arena. <laughs> That's that would, something I want to see. That would be awesome. Uh, make, I, I make was it saying happen, Eric. we're destroying things that are involved with the uh, the demon tree. Oh, uh, we're destroying their little demon nubs. Well, I mean, they kind of need it to be tethered to this world. Am I being followed by... I am being followed by things. I well, want to go through here. I this mean, looks like I can break it. It's actually kind of how demons work. They need okay. a foothold, as they say. Well, it's time for me to give them a sword hold. What's up, guys? So yeah, how it would work, people, is if we buy the original Devil May Cry uh, songs, I was reading about this because um, Capcom told me, what happens is the music that you're hearing right now, like the combat and the boss music would change for everything except for like the actual stage bosses. They have their oh. own signature music. But like right now. But right now you would have like a uh, signature classic Devil May Cry music from Devil May Cry 1, 2, 3, and 4. Didn't it have an in a violin in there somewhere too sometimes? Those were stages. Oh. See, I told you I could go through that. I saw light coming through that, so I figured there was something over here. I mean, I think Nero's really cool, but I kind of really want to see Dante play this, but... You'll probably play with Dante about it. No, I don't think we're going to play with Dante as much as we did with in Devil May Cry 4, because you switched between Dante and Nero. Oh. In this game, they've added a third character from what um, that press release from Capcom says. So you play as Nero, Dante, and V. Mm. Well, you know, and if you guys are, like... Uh, if you guys end up getting this game, they have a really cool recap at the beginning of the game about all the different Devil May Cry games. Yep. Uh, all the canon Devil May Cry ones. games. The canon ones. Get out of here, DMC! <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, and then when I was watching that, I was thinking, oh my gosh, what about uh, Dante's twin brother? Like, maybe they'll bring him back sometime. Virgil? Uh, maybe. Virgil. Yeah, that guy. 
Sorry, I keep... Virgil's a popular character. Did you know he is also voiced by a Power Ranger? I did not know that, Luke. Quantum Ranger! Quantum oh. Power from uh, Power Rangers Time Force. He is the uh, voice of Virgil. Well, I feel like being a Power Ranger definitely gets you onto the scene and... Especially anime. You'd be surprised how many Power Ranger actors uh, are involved with video games. I am surprised. But Johnny Young Bosch is definitely the most famous. Like, he's gone on to do a lot of lead characters. But it really does. I'm, I'm sticking to my original argument that I really feel like Nero is going to become the number one character in Devil May Cry. I think they're really uh, shaping that. Like, yeah, like a passing of the up. torch. Because just based on how old Dante looks to me, and I haven't beaten the game yet, people. This is just my uh, thoughts on this. Just Oh, I know you haven't beaten it. If you had, I would have known. Yeah, I, I might have accidentally spoiled things for Amber, but we're, we're trying to play this blind because, I mean, this is something that I think I can play blind, so... Because it's just a hack and slash game. Well, I mean, you're having fun playing it. Oh, definitely! Some games, it's like you don't really want to play blind because they're not fun for you, but you love Devil May Cry, so... Oh, my arm broke. Mega Buster! It always helps like motivate me to play a game if I actually like it. If I like the storyline, the characters, the music, <laughs> etc. That's yeah, why so I feel like changing the music to an older Devil May Cry series would be really cool. Yeah. That would be more my speed. I mean this music is kind I'm sure of, it's only it's like okay, twenty bucks. But I feel like some of the older Devil May Cry themes are even better. Much better. I'm, I'm not trying to be mean, but I don't like that. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure I already own them. Like, you have to remember, we have two PSN accounts, guys. But what I noticed when I was doing my stream, the game was becoming a little bit too easy because of how overpowered all the gems and stuff I got. So I wanted to start a new save file on Amber's account because it's like I'm playing the game the way it's intended. I If I wanted to do microtransaction stuff... I would go and get it, so I don't like that they gave me all the blood gems uh, so I can buy whatever I want on the other file, which was fun oh. for the live stream. It, it was cool, but I want to experience the game the way it was supposed to be first, and then if I want to cheat later or do some crazy yeah. stuff, I will do that. But Wow, that's very bold of you. I, to I'm like... sure that the soundtrack thing is only like 20 bucks that you can get like in addition. Oh, that's awesome. Just like, you you know you could buy the additional soundtrack for um, Dragon Ball Fighters, like uh, listening to like uh, the original Dragon Ball music. Although it, it will get you copyrighted. <laughs> Just letting oh. people know. Oh, that's probably why we didn't do it. But Devil May Cry is a video game franchise, so it doesn't fall into the it's same a, copyright yeah, crazy it's, territory. It's not an anime. Well, I think it is. Devil May Cry an is an anime. They made an anime. And I won't be listening to the Devil May Cry anime music that's in this game. Um, I would just select my favorite from the franchise. So Devil May Cry 1 or 4. I really love the music from 1 and 4. And I noticed that the music in 2... Uh, was also kind of cool, but some people didn't like Devil May Cry 2 as well because Dante aged quite a bit in that game, too. So when you first met him in Devil May Cry 1, he was kind of like this young stud, you know, demon hunter, wisecracking guy. Yeah. And then hanging out with Trish for a couple years, it looked like he aged 10 years by the time That's of the next game. That's kind of weird. And then they were like, okay, we don't like the direction that we went with Dante, so we're going to do Devil May Cry 3, which is in reality a prequel. So, you're, oh. you're going to see when Dante was 19 now, so... So they wanted to keep him... They shouldn't have aged him so fast, though. I don't know why... I believe Devil May Cry 2 was supposed to be the finale of the series, and it got, like, this oh. kind of backlash from people. I wonder people if I can get up there. People wanted to keep it going for a long time. Well, yeah, and then they finally rebooted it after 4, because they were like, well, 4 is the finale. Um... <laughs> Oh, that, why could they take such a cool storyline and only expect two games out of it? Well, it took them almost eight years to come up with another, you know, story in the franchise. Oh. Which I'm glad. I'm glad that happened. But just like 2018 was the year of Kingdom Hearts on K-Wing's Let's Plays, guys, 2019 is going to be the year of Devil May Cry. Well, I mean... Like, just looking at all the different DMC games. If you have... If you're wearing a trench coat, you have a sword, mm -hmm. there's demons that you're fighting, you're saving the world. I mean, right there, even the concept... You've got to have at least five games. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, 
It's such a cool concept. You don't really see that. Right, let's go this way. Yeah. He's not even out of breath. Oh, I hate creepy painting ghost things. Ooh. Ooh. Good thing this is not late at night. Oh my gosh, that looks like Raven in the Teen Titans. Not commercial. really. Not totally, but a tiny bit. It kind of looks like okay, the now it doesn't. Shears scissors. of Annihilation. I don't need a haircut, thanks. Yeah, your hair actually looks pretty good. It's pretty trim. Like, nice. Yeah, you, know? It, you know, I'm going to have to take a picture of that and I'll cut your hair like Nero's. Whoops. I, what, what did that button do? Hang on. Shall we dance? Oh, they're taunts! Oh. Uh, I did that by pressing the weird pad feature on the PS4. Which, I'm sorry, that is not a touchpad. What, whatever this is, this is just weird. This was their Action attempt pad. at... Yeah, you remember? Uh, because the PS4 they, oh, came yeah, out when the Wii U came they out. They tried to be the Wii U, but not. Right. But they really couldn't be, because they really didn't want to not do the... They, they was still wanted to, to do... You? No way, you yeah, you coming to us. Bring it! Oh, taunting works. I made it angry. Wait, I guarantee you, PS4... F or, sorry, PS5 is gonna be like a Switch. I guarantee you they're gonna combine the PSP with the power of the PS4, and they're gonna make a portable hybrid that's gonna be flashier than the Switch, yeah. and it'll be more powerful, but it, in the long run, it just will be a copy. Yeah, well, I feel I'm I'm really surprised they didn't do that already. Oh, they will. Microsoft and I guarantee you, Microsoft and PS5, like their next systems are basically going to be a Switch. And then when Nintendo innovates again, I, I love PlayStation games. Don't get me wrong, people, but this is something I've noticed when I was a game journo, and PlayStation would do stuff like they they, they always wait for they Nintendo take the easy way out to do something, and then they're like, okay, well, we'll just do that. We'll just do it and say we invented it. It's just like when you're in school and like, uh -oh. n and you're working on a project and all the people- Whoa! Never mind. How'd I do that? Basically, it's like when you have a new idea for your project and everyone in your class copies you, which is what happens. It's like that meme, like, uh, can I copy off your homework? Sure, just don't make it, you know, look well, too similar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't make it look like it. Exactly. Yeah, just- Don't make don't, it obvious. Don't make it obvious. Yes, exactly. Mega Buster! Pew, pew, pew. Man, this thing is actually hard to kill. Come here! Yeah! Alright, so the big difference with this enemy is uh, pretty much... What is that? That's new. Are you on a hoverboard? I am on my <laughs> arm. Oh. Uh, Nero, this was not okay. your library to trash, man. I know. Oh, this place is so old and you're destroying it. I know. Who's going to clean up this? Oh my gosh. Think about how old those bookcases were. Careful of the statues. I feel bad when old, beautiful things get destroyed. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this game takes place in Europe. I'm really heavily, because, I mean, the architecture is just... You know, most of the stuff in Europe is still very, like, Yeah, the architecture, the architecture in Europe is tremendously different than here. Oh, yeah. I well, mean, it goes back centuries, whereas, you know... We're, we're a 200-year-old country. Yeah. Whereas there, it's like, it goes back thousands of years. And, like, you look at the towns and you're like, wow, these towns look so different than ours because they're set up completely different. They're just building up on top of things that are over 500, 1,000 years oh, old. There we go. I mean... Whoops. Sorry. Sorry. It's crazy. It is crazy. All right. So, uh, I noticed there was another hand around here, guys. So, I'm just restocking right now. Okay. So, where did I see that? There it is. Mega Buster! All right. We're good to go. What is that thing? That looks important. Is that... Can I get that? Nope. What is that? I mean, there is some really old stuff here, but it only goes back at 200 years, like you said. I've seen a lot of uh, old American architecture in, like, New York City and Boston it, it and stuff like that. It can only get so old. Yeah, it's and most of it is, like, sanctioned off. It's not like, oh, we built a library over it, or we did... it. It's a touristy thing. Like, yeah. it's not still in use. Even the, uh... 
the Freedom Bell in Philadelphia or whatever, that, that chapel, I mean, it's kind of still used for services and stuff like that, but, you know, yeah. most of it is historic. You know, like, um, did you ever see that documentary of those, uh, there was a, I think he was a billionaire from France, and he was building a castle in the United States Whoa. to teach Americans what a, what a castle was like and how it was built, mm -hmm. and he employed people building it. It was pretty cool. I don't remember if he Hello. ever finished it, but we don't really have castles here like that. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. We have imitation castles. Yeah, that's... Whoa, 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 what? Yeah, like, look, this place looks like Harry Potter's uh, place. I mean, this is a giant school building thing. Anything. No yeah, and Capcom's actually really good at, um, you know. Oh, I guess my sword is all charged up. And remember, guys, you have to rev up the Red Queen to uh, get it to be super powerful. Well, that's why I feel like there's all these stories about, like, demons and ghosts haunting places that are extremely old and beautiful like this, because you know, there's so much history there. Yep. Gotta make a phone call. You're up, Nico. Apparently, Nero doesn't have a cell phone. Oh, you're destroying this beautiful building! I'm getting really triggered. Nice to see you too, Nico. Why couldn't she just park outside and wait? Nah, she's not gonna do There's that. No such thing as too prepared. That's true. How many times does she have to repair that van? It's like a super demon van, probably. It has demon powers. It looks like. I mean, the old... the A team van like destroyed tons of stuff. Yeah, and how spotless. did that happen? Do they have reinforced steel on it or something? Magic Let's of uh, television, but. Let's uh, call this the magic of video games. Yeah, did you ever watch like old car chases where the guy's headlight is shot out and then in the next scene is the headlight is back? I love those. It's like, oh my gosh. Nowadays they have people on set to actually check all that stuff and make sure everything is like lining up correctly. So if you shot the headlight out, it still stays out. But back then it's like it didn't even matter. Mm hmm. I kind of liked back then because it's like people take things too seriously. There's too many people involved in movies. Movies are just supposed to be fun. Like, I don't really care if the headlight stays out or not. That's not what I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about if I like the characters in the plot. I don't care if everything's accurate. Okay, so me. I think we got some pretty good stuff. Let's uh, go with this. Thanks, Nico. See, you look better when you smile. Like, the other times you just look angry and I don't know Good choice. thank you what does Nico have to like munch on while she's waiting for you and stuff does she's a she, smoker she just smokes cigarettes so I mean look at she's done to her kitchen she's turned it into well, a actually, workbench they say if you smoke that you actually are not as hungry well, that would make sense why you know why she's replacing food with cigarettes right now yeah but you get a lot of problems for smoking, too, so I mean... Um, yeah. Definitely. Okay! So... that was fun. Yeah. Don't don't smoke people that are watching kids, or hopefully not kids watching, but... Yeah, this is a uh, M-rated series, guys, so... <laughs> like, uh, if you want more... other stuff to watch, check out our kid-friendly channel. This is this is my personal channel where um, more or less I, I play games that I think are going to work out well for the audience here based on age demograph and also things that I personally enjoy because some games I can't really look at other than on here. So. Yeah, I knew a lady that actually she quit smoking and she said she felt better she was healthier but she gained like tons of weight and she could never get it back off because... She could never smoke again because it's What's just... going on here? Yeah. All right, so we're under the demon tree, or one of them. Hello there. Oh, this thing looks kind of cool, but even... Artemis. Artemis. Illuminating corruption. Oh, wow. No monologue, I guess. All right, let's jump right into the action then. 
I'm game. I know, where's the quipping here? What? No chit chat or monologue? Just getting right to the point, huh? Oh my gosh! Whoa! <laughs> That's what we just said. Oh! Capcom, reading my mind. This demon. Something different about it. Well, it's got wings. Um, it also has like a mermaid tail. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Well, it doesn't seem to be too, uh, defended against bullets, so that's good. Let's rev up our sword to really hurt this monster. Nope, I don't think so. Well, I mean, it is interesting to keep making these things really creative, because if you think about it, they are from all kinds of different, you know, dark dimensions and stuff. They could look pretty much like anything. Oh yeah, this is what I love about Devil May Cry, though, is how True. unique the uh, different bosses are. Yeah, it's super creative. The only time it wasn't creative was DMC. They all got ugly. Uh-oh. Yeah, I, I think that keeping this creativity into it is really interesting. Because, I mean... Especially, I mean, if you look at the descriptions of some, like, you know... Fallen angels Whoa. or like cherubim and stuff, they're crazy looking. You can't even imagine what they would look like in real life. So that jump ability that we just bought really came in handy. Like I was able to evade pretty easily. Yep. Yeah. Alright, that thing's a bit out of reach though. Move it, Nero. I think that boss looks really cool with the mermaid tail and the wings, like several sets of wings that it's really awesome. Yeah, I'm not really putting a dent in this thing though. Well, buckle in, kids. This is going to be a long fight. Not that I mind. Oh, you don't like sword to the face. Well, too bad. The last game I remember watching you play that had crazy evil bosses like this was like Dante's Inferno. Oh my gosh, that game brings me back. Yeah. That was a really weird game. It's like, okay. I told people what my stance was on certain things, and it's like... When I worked for different publications, they didn't really care about my principles. Like, they would have me work on all kinds of insane games. Yeah. I almost had to do Manhunt, for crying out loud. I re and I fought them. I was oh, like... Oh, yeah, they, they would send you a game, and you'd be like, well, I can't do that. And they'd be like, well, either do this or you're fired. Yep. It was very difficult, so... I mean, Luke would pick and choose his battles, but... I mean, I never... I. I'm surprised. How did I get out of doing the Grand Theft Auto and Saints Rose games? I don't remember because they. I don't know. Sometimes you were just like, "Fine, you'll just have to fire me," and then they didn't. Well, I was too good. I know. I, I was one of like back in the day. I, I mean, I got offers from IGN and all kinds of companies. You were supposed to work for IGN, I think. In another universe, you definitely would be working for them. Yeah, but I don't think I would have enjoyed my time. They've gotten really corrupt. They started. It's not the same company that. Well, I feel like all journalist companies are corrupt right now because they get paid by people to do fake reviews all the time. No, I'm, I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking... There, there's so many things behind the scenes that it's not even... Game Press... It was... It used to be one of the funnest places to work. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I had a blast uh, working for so many different companies and things like that, and I really enjoyed it, but... Um, after I became full-time YouTube, I heard horror stories about what was going on behind the scenes with just pay and uh, different things happening with the companies like, you know, moralities and oh, you know, yeah. their beliefs and so many things were happening that it just, I would not have been able to work there now. I probably would get fired for something today. Yeah, and it's always harder when you actually finally work for the company, you have to move near them. Mm -hmm. And, like, you're, everything is based on working for that company, so you can't really leave because you need them as a job. Whoa! You can't quit, so... Hey, now. I like how this thing is moving kind of like a Whoa. squid, but through the air. That's really it's like cool. a, a squid with car speakers attacking you. Yeah. It's very creative. Well, I mean, mermaids, sirens, they are like... That's what... Yes, this is like a demon. siren. It's like an air siren. Aw, I think we beat it. That's the first thing I thought of when I saw it. it looks like a siren to me. Mm -hmm. Whoa, there's something under there. Watch it, Nero. Woo! See, that's what I want to be able to do. Used to be able to do that. Like, uh, run up the side of the walls and stuff oh, and yeah. backflip off the walls. Its blood is black. 
<laughs> Wait a second. What? That looks like Lady. Did you, like, cut her? No. She's covered in- Dante's friend is Lady. Knew it. You know her? From a gunsmith days. Uh. What? I can't believe you do this to Kyrie. I'm gonna have to tell her, man. He's not cheating. Just rescued her. I'm joking. Hey, loosen up your jock strap. <laughs> Don't do anything I would do. Maybe they should just give her a towel. Yeah. Give her your coat. Kitty would kill me right now. Yeah, she would. I would. But he saved her! It doesn't matter. What? He should be, like, leaving her over there, looking the other way, and grabbing a towel immediately. Where is there a towel? He I'm, should go find one! I mean, he could give her his jacket. Why yeah, exactly! Oh, he's just standing there like, oh, this is fine. Everything's fine here. I rescued her, so I have to sit here forever. What? What is this? Stylish? You can evaluate any player uh, with online trying to give stylish rating anyone shows their stuff. Collect enough ratings to obtain a gold orb. Oh! That's kind of cool. All right, you're stylish, dude. I mean, it's not like Nico has any extra clothing because she has the little crop top on. But Nero, he actually has an extra coat. Oh, look, it's Tattoo Man. So, V, you think this kid can kill Urizen? One can only hope. But for now, we have a more pressing engagement. We do? Yes, Order 66. He looks like a front man for a metal band. Like death metal. Yeah. Not not so much as a demon hunter. He's definitely using Nero. See? Just like I told you, you can play as V and command three demons on the battlefield. Okay, that sounds terrifying. So anyway, guys and gals, that is going to do it for this episode of Devil May Cry. Let us know what you thought about it in the comment section below. And if you're excited about us possibly looking at the other DMC games. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your night, and we will see you tomorrow with more Devil May Cry 5. God bless and happy gaming. See ya!